So the next one, everyone, so we're done with the first tip. The second tip is actually about um, the French culture when it comes to uh, table manner or like table etiquette. Yes. So um, I'm just going to give you one, guys, which I have observed very important here in France since uh, French people are very fond of, uh, you know, drinking wine or drinking something with a wine glass, you know? So yeah, guys, when you drink something, of course, it's very common for us to say cheers. Yeah, so here in France, they also do, especially with the wine glass, it's very common for them to drink wine with a wine glass. So they always say cheers. So when you say cheers, everyone, it's very important for French people to have eye contact when you say cheers. So for example, I say cheers, Cheers, but I'm not looking at that person eye to eye. That person will think that it's kind of impolite. So it's very important for French people, guys, to have eye contact while saying cheers. So you say cheers, so really eye contact. There's eye contact, everyone. Eye contact when you say cheers is very important here in France because they believe if you don't have the eye contact, while saying cheers, it's kind of bad luck, everyone, and it's impolite. So yeah, it's very important. Okay, third one, everyone, the third one. Don't expect to be always right. Maybe many of us actually think customers are always right. Does it sound familiar? Customers are always right. But here in France, everyone, do not expect to be always right because actually a lot of French people they often work in a certain uh, company or a certain establishment okay they often work for a long time so uh, they consider their experience like they already have the expertise of, of what they are doing or they have the expertise of what they do so uh, if you say if you say or if you say something to them to do this or do that because you don't like that way and you want this way in that case they will feel bad everyone and uh, don't expect them to uh, follow what you want yeah so that means do not expect to be always right i have observed that customers are not always right here in france everyone <laughs> it's funny but it's a fact everyone the fourth tip that i'll be giving you is actually you have to know when to greet with a kiss or shake hands. Among French people, everyone, it is already their culture to actually greet people by having a kiss. Kiss here in both cheeks. Yeah, this is their way of greeting someone, saying hi, hello. Not just hi, hello, but also goodbye. But you have to know when to do that. You cannot just kiss anyone. Okay, <laughs> you cannot just kiss anyone on the cheeks, okay? So here in France, everyone, they greet people, hello, hi, and goodbye, by kissing the cheeks, both cheeks, both cheeks, when they are with friends. That means to say, when they greet friends, hi, hello, and goodbye, they do that by kissing the cheeks. Yes, kissing both cheeks. That's it, everyone. So do not kiss the cheeks of anyone you meet on the road. Okay? <laughs> or maybe you met someone and suddenly you're talking to each other because, uh, you know, maybe that person wants to know something about you or maybe someone is interested in you and you suddenly give a kiss on the cheeks because this is how you say hello and hi. No, everyone. You only kiss the cheeks when you are friends or you're close to each other. Yes, everyone. So what do you do when you greet strangers? That's by shaking hands, everyone. So if you're not close to each other, if that person is a stranger to you, you shake hands. If you're not close, you shake hands, everyone. So that's it. All right, the next one, number five. And this is the last tip that I'll be giving you guys. So what's the last one? This 
thing is very important guys because you know this is based on my experience everything which i have said is actually based on my experience yes the last one everyone is when someone offers you something to eat for example you visit my house here in france and i offer you to eat something okay what is the culture that they have here in france in in other countries it might be okay to say oh no thank you i'm very full or no thank you because blah 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 whatever reason you have you say no here in France, everyone, do not say no when someone offers you something to eat. <laughs> you have to accept, you have to try to eat what they offered to you. Yes, you have to eat or you have to accept what they offer to you. Yes, guys, because if you refuse their offer, they will think that you are rude. Yes, it is impolite, everyone, to say no to an offer. So yeah, especially food. Yes, it's based on my experience, everyone. Once I had a, I had a fight with my husband <laughs> because of this kind of stuff. Because, of course, you know, in Philippines, it's our culture. In Philippines, in my country, guys, it's opposite. Because in my country, even if you want to take that thing, even if you want to accept the thing which someone offers you, for example, someone is eating, and uh, someone says come on let's eat so even if you want to eat that you say no even if you're hungry you say no so yeah it's a kind of uh, culture in philippines that's very opposite here in france so yeah guys never say no to an offer especially when it comes to food everyone so yeah i hope you guys learned something from these five tips that i have given so the first one if you want to visit France, first you need to learn basic words and expressions, which are very important. Second is when you say cheers, you need to have eye contact. Okay, eye contact when you say cheers. And third, you need to remember not to expect to be right always. Customers are not always right here in France. <laughs> And the fourth one, always remember, kiss on the cheeks if you're close to your friends or if you're close to these people and shake hands with a stranger. That's how you greet hi, hello, and goodbye. Okay? Yes. And the last one, do not refuse when they offer food to you. Do not refuse because it is impolite, everyone. So yes, that's really it, everyone, for these tips of mine. So I hope you guys will be able to use them in your future trip to France, especially in Paris, the place of, uh, you know, love, the, the, the most romantic place, which uh, they say, you know. Yeah, so I wish you luck, everyone, whenever you visit France. So I hope this will be very helpful to you guys. So yes. Thank you so much so i hope um you guys like this video if you do please don't forget to hit like and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button below to get more updates about my channel and you will get notified every time i go live everyone so yes so once again it's me catherine your english teacher in france see you in my next video or live streaming everyone bye bye Say